everyone. Thanks for tubing in again. I'm Pauline Jones Chef and this is my therapy dog Georgie. Well I've got this is the first of six more segments so I'm really excited about sharing some new topics with you and today I'm talking about hockey. What do I think about hockey? Well you'll know by the time I'm finished. Anyway I didn't know until I came to Canada that you played hockey on ice. And when I came over, I thought, oh my goodness, you have to be a figure skater to play hockey. <laughs> of course, I soon realized that that wasn't the case. You have to be a speed skater. Anyway, I married a Canadian and he took me to a live game at a local rink. And we went with another couple who were as British as I was. And the teams got on the ice, and do you know, it wasn't even five minutes. And the helmets were off, the gloves were off, they were punching each other. Well, the blood was all down the plexiglass, and we were right behind it. Everybody was screaming and egging them all on, and do all we could see is blood and the violence, and we were just so shocked. So we two women started screaming, stop it, stop it. And all these guys behind us started screaming at us, shut the front door, you stupid witches. Well, that's open for interpretation, I can tell you, because that is not what they screamed at us, is it? We felt like fools. Anyway. We just sat there and we were the last ones to leave the arena that night, I'll let tell you, because we were afraid we were going to get lynched on the way out. But I think they could make hockey more interesting, really. Except there's one thing I don't like very much, and that's when they're sitting on the bench and they swill all that water and, and then they, they spit it all out all over the place. And I don't like that. Of course, I understand they can't swallow it, because the, wouldn't it be terrible if you were in the middle of the second period and the commentator came on and said, ladies and gentlemen, players number 4, 15, 32 and 41 will now be leaving the ice for a five minute pee break. Please stay seated and remain calm. Well, that wouldn't go down very well at all, I guess. The other thing, too, is I think the goalies should get more excited when they block the puck. I think they should have to do a dance every time they block it. And I think that puck should be bigger and brighter and light up as it flies through the air. And when it hits home, they should play that music, you know? Da 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 That would get me out of my chair, standing up and holding on to my walker like dear life, I can tell you. But no, I think they should be just more interesting. And it's a shame, really, because it's still a contact sport. It's not as violent as it used to be, I know that. But I pass most of the time. I, I just can't get interested in it. Like I said, if they did a few other things to get me out of my chair and excited, I would be right up there. Yes, I would. Anyway, my husband likes hockey, but I'm not a hockey widow, thank goodness. I know some women that are. Anyway, guys, you keep on playing and bring the cup home this year. It's been 50 years, you know, and we need to have the cup back in Toronto. Yes, we do. And I hope you do it, guys. I really hope you do it. Go for it this year. I'm asking you, pleading with you, bring the cup home. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. And Don Cherry, I love you too. You make it interesting. That is for sure. Anyway, before I go, I always have to mention something that's not very funny. One of them's been drinking and driving. I don't know why people keep doing it. Mothers Against Drunk Driving have been pleading with you for so many years. The police are telling you. The LCBO are asking you to drink responsibly. 
because you don't cause accidents, you cause disasters. You kill people. Please get some help and stay off the road so the rest of us can be relatively safe. Thank you so much. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for tubing in. I'm Pauline Jones-Chef. Bye-bye for now.